when you're str struggling, there are like uh, three different possibilities. Uh, the first possibility is that uh, your when you feel like you know you're trying to think, but it's really hard and you cannot think, uh, is that your energy uh, is blocked by the universe. So we have mm -hmm. like you know it can be either blocked by the universe, either blocked by the earth which is related to ancestors, either blocked by your health, which is more related to your lifestyle. Uh, and then the one like, you know, related to um, the universe is like, that means you're not really doing what your soul wants. If you're not doing what your soul wants, often you will feel like things are foggy. You can't really think, you know what I mean? Uh, and the, the energy is blocked by the universe. We're going to say that. Uh, and then after we consider, and I think, I think it was related a lot to Ch Chinese culture, uh, ancient Chinese culture is the place of your ancestors. How much, like, you know, uh, we consider that we carry what they started. And then, like, you know, we carry and we sort of have to keep going what they did or what they wanted to do. Yeah. Okay. And that's related to the earth. So it's like a sort of contract with the universe, with your soul, and a contract with uh, your ancestors, the earth, because you're made of like, you know, flesh and like, you know, all of that. And if you're not doing uh, that, um, I know it sounds, uh, if you're like, you know, walking that, which would make you feel really great, uh, then it will affect your luck, uh, your luck, uh, and also a little bit your health too. Because you're like, you know, their, their genes are passed on to you uh, and it's related to them. So like maybe if you have a health problem, it can be related to that. And then the last part is like uh, the health again, but in a different way, blocked by uh, the human, us. Uh, it's more related to what we see, you know, like uh, every day. It's more like maybe lifestyle and things like that. So this is what we call like a visible problem because uh, uh, in our practice, we have like two things, visible problem and invisible problem. And for visible problem, visible solutions and invisible problem, invisible solutions. So oh, we try to cate yeah, categorize things to see what okay. do you need? Like, you know, for example, if you have like you hurt your ankle, uh, it won't be necessary like, you know, for healing with stones <laughs> that you will heal that, you know, you need to right. go to the doctor, you know? Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. But then like maybe if it's something related like to your heart or your soul, then maybe going to the doctor won't be enough. And right. then you will need like tools, like, you know. Interesting. And I think just that concept, very simple yeah. idea will like make you feel like, oh, then what is my problem right now? Right. Is it visible or invisible? And then knowing that will help you to figure things out much faster. <laughs>